Hey guys, how's it going? So today's project is a fun one that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. So the trucks are full of fun stuff. Pots, there's fall plants in that one as well. Corn stalks from our garden, potting soil, and we are taking all of this stuff down to a place in our town called the Children's Relief Nursery. And just real quick, and I'll go more in depth about it later, the Relief Nursery is a place that provides support, safety, comfort, necessities to kids who are currently involved in high stress situations at home. And all kinds of high stress, including neglect and abuse. And the thing I love about this organization is that they provide support to the kids, but they also try to provide support kind of to the root of the issue. They do home visits. They meet with the parents or guardians. They provide support and resources to them as well um, to help strengthen the whole family unit. Uh, it's never a bad thing to help out kids in any capacity ever, I think. I, mean, I always think that's a great thing to do. But if you can like drill down even further and help at a level that might be more sustainable throughout time and help that family unit just like lift them up a little bit, I just think that's amazing. So we will put a link to their organization down below if you want to learn more and I'll probably talk about it a little bit more once we're there uh, but we want to go and just deck out the front area for fall and make it look festive and welcoming and warm um, I feel like that's an area where we can help we went and toured earlier on the season I think I might have already said that and just looked at the whole area we looked at the back area where they've got raised beds in place where we can do some planting next year um, there's a lot of opportunity to do some fun things to get kids involved in gardening and I think it's just a really fun activity I mean you guys know what gardening does for us we do it because it's therapy it's amazing it feeds our soul and I feel like getting kids involved in that is really awesome so anyway that's what we're planning to do so you might recognize these containers I saved back four of our true drop these are from Crescent Garden they're self watering containers for this project specifically because I don't want the containers to become a lot of maintenance I don't want there to be a lot of watering involved so I was trying to cut down on that so that is what we're gonna use we've got some really pretty things in here grasses and moms and pansies, some alyssum and cabbage. So many beautiful things, there's uh, ivy too. And then I went out yesterday, I cut some corn stalks in our garden. There's four bundles there, four bundles of 10. Potting soil for the containers, a few more plants. So I've got lemon coral sedum and more ivy. The only thing I don't have in the trucks, which I think will come back for it, there's possible I might want to incorporate a couple of straw bales. Uh, and then I want to bring some of the pumpkins that we just harvested out of our garden. So we'll probably come back and take a second load down. So I'm going to go gather Aaron up. He's going to help me with this this morning. And then we are going to head down and get after it. Are you ready? I'm so ready. It's nice and crisp out this morning. It is crisp. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be driving about five miles an hour because I don't want to wreck any of these tassels they're too pretty all right guys we've arrived this is the front of the building Whoop, right here uh, and it's got a lot of potential I love they keep it very tidy and clean so I feel like we don't we don't have to do a thing we just get to like move in our stuff um, so I'm not really sure how this is gonna go I think what I'm gonna need to do is get everything unloaded and kind of mess with placement because I do have a couple of containers that I may utilize I may move those to the side I have no idea. So anyway, let me get you a full like before shot. All right, so here's the before shot right here. Hoping to bring a little fall festivity to the area. All right, Aaron, I think we're good to go. I let him know we're here. <laughs> and so I think what we need to do is just unload everything and kind of just mess with it and see placement and see if we need to go get those straw bales or not. Oh, sure. It's kind of a big part of the display. So okay. let's do it. got everything unloaded and kind of set. I honestly don't think we're gonna have to move their planters and I don't think we're gonna need straw bales either. I think once we get these all filled and we'll go ahead and fill their planters too with flowers, if we go get some pumpkins and stuff, I think that's gonna be plenty and it'll actually be a lot less messy. Straw's awesome, but it is messy. I hate to put that off on somebody else. And here are all the plants. So we've got Patricia Ivy, Lemon Coral Sedum, a pansy that's a bicolor kind of looks like Halloweenish to me. I love it. The purple and orange. White Knight Alyssum. Purple Fountain Grass. Ah, uh, this one's called Blazing Orange, I think, Mom. It is a perennial. Uh, ornamental Cabbage. That's it. So I'm going to get all of these things planted and then kind of assess the situation again and figure out like how much more color we need to be bring back in terms of pumpkins and squash 
coming together really fast. We are getting close to being done. We've got the corn stalks out, the pots planted up. With the leftover pansies, which I wasn't planning on filling those, so I didn't plan accordingly, so I might grab a few things when we're home. I did pop some extra pansies in there that we had. And in these containers, what we ended up doing was a purple fountain grass in the center, surrounded by three of the mums. Cabbage front and center, we love that bold texture. And then I filled in with lemon coral sedum, ivy which i'm going to get some shine spray when we're at home getting pumpkins i forgot to bring that we'll try to shine these up a little bit and then the alyssum is tucked in on the side so we are starting to get a little bit more sun on that right hand side there and that'll just start to increase this is a full sun in the afternoon sort of spot uh, but i do think that pumpkins are definitely needed we need some pop of color toward the bottom it will look brighter too when it's all in the sun and then i thought it might be cute to go get like some command hook things and do a couple of fall wreaths, at least on those two beams. I think that'd be cute. We'll see what we can find. All right, just made it back home to grab some of the pumpkins and squash. We actually harvested, I think it was a couple days ago now, uh, and they're all in the barn, mostly in the shade until I was ready to use them, and they look so pretty all clustered together in here. Look at this selection. Oh my word. So I'm thinking down there, we should probably do some classics. And some bright stuff, maybe like some white, maybe some of these, the kusha, kushas. I don't know, a mix will be nice, but I think getting some classic orange just to really brighten it up would be nice. I think the darker ones might get a little bit lost because the gravel or the rock that the pots are sitting on is kind of dark itself. So anyway, I'm gonna grab a few. All right, so I think this is gonna be a good start. A lot of nice bright color and variety. So as I was loading this up, I was thinking about exactly how I was going to arrange them. And I think what I'm gonna do is just start by putting a few piles right by the walkway. Because I think I would have to have a ton, which I have a ton here, but I still have a bunch of other things to do with them. Decorating here, I'm going to be storing a lot of these to eat too in our root cellar. Um, so I can always take more down if I need more, but I think that they would get lost if I tried to do uh, piles over by the outer containers. So I just kind of want to concentrate everything by the walkway for now anyway. We can always build on it. So we've got the pumpkins in the back of the truck and we are now heading to Joanne's to see if I can find, I'm gonna try to find two small crates to raise up some of the pumpkins. Um, give them a little bit of height there, uh, right by the sidewalk and then possibly two wreaths to hang on the two beams that flank the sidewalk. You don't want to come into Joanne's with me? No, thank you. <laughs> Why not? Where did all their fall wreaths go? No. Well, these are these are pretty. This will work. Yeah, we'll just go with it. That one looks pretty nice. So we just made it back for round two. Got the pumpkins, got the wreaths. Uh, so we're just gonna work on getting these things all buttoned up. I actually brought some extra plants for those taller wood planters right there. Uh, since the pansies I brought, you know, I didn't plan on enough plants to fill those. And the pansies, it's just a little bit too thin. So I've got some really pretty red cabbage here. Look at how pretty that is. And some more lemon coral sedum to add in. So here we go. Hey 
guys, all done. I wanted to give you a look before I water everything in and make a total mess of the sidewalk. There are a couple things that are starting to wilt a little bit because it's been a while since we started this project earlier on this morning and you can see now that everything is in full sun. But it does make it easier to see. You can see the bright colors. Really, really sweet. So all four of the larger containers match, which I think is nice when you're doing something in mass like that and that way it doesn't fight for your eye. Um, it's a little bit more restful. And then we did hold up the wreaths that we brought. We held them up to these beams just to see how it looked and it looked a little bit too busy. So we decided to just put the one beside the door, which the color turned out great. The orange against that light blue siding, I think it looks really pretty. And I'm also happy that we went with just the pumpkins and squash flanking the sidewalk. I mean, one could keep going and going and going, but it just looks simple and pretty and fall. And that was the goal. So the corn stalks, I ended up tying off to the grasses in the center of the container. I just ran a piece of twine in around the plants, around the grass, and then just lashed the corn stalks up that way to try to avoid having to tie it off to the beam and have a piece of twine around there to kind of break up that. I don't know, that's so pretty. I didn't want to break that up with twine. We'll just have to see if that holds. I'm not sure how it will do. And then the taller containers that were here, I added the red cabbage and the lemon coral sedum. So very simple but still really pretty. All right guys, so that is it for today's project. It actually got quite warm out here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. These poor plants, they're gonna really love it to get a drink here in a second. But it just makes me so happy to have been able to come down here and do this. And I'm really hoping that it blesses the kids that come in. I'm hoping it blesses the people that work here. It blesses me to do it. And I think it's so important to do stuff like that. Um, and you know, if you're kind of struggling with figuring out how to you know, get involved in something that you're passionate about. Like for me, I just want to be able to help kids however I can. Um, I would encourage you to lean in on your strengths. Find something that you feel like you're good at. Like I do plants. So I figured, you know what, I could come down here and bring plants and hopefully it'll brighten things up. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of time or maybe like the, the uh, resources to do projects like this, but I can come down and do this and I can dedicate a little bit of time to sprucing up an entryway or helping them plant their raised beds in the back. And it's something that I enjoy doing. And so, it, you know, if you rely on your strengths, then it becomes this really fun thing to do uh, all the way around. I don't know if that made sense at all. <laughs> at all. It's just such a fun thing. And we will put the a link to the website to the Relief Nursery in case you guys want to read up a little bit more about it. Um, and then I'm hoping to come down and be able to continue doing some projects like this here and there as we are able to and maybe seasonally wouldn't it be fun to have like seasonal containers out here I think it would be so anyway I'm gonna get after watering these things and making them a little bit happier out here thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next one bye